So I've got a Warren Xeon 12S Platinum winch. And so I've got the 10,000 pound and I've got this 12,000 pound. Now I've seen online where people have trouble threading the synthetic winch line through the drum. And now on the 10,000 pound, I didn't have no trouble. I just used the supplied wire that they have. And I looked on YouTube and I think the only video I saw was a video that Warren did. And I don't recall if it was a 10,000 or a 12,000 pound. But best I can tell, the winches are pretty much the same externally. The drum looks like it's the same. Um, the gearing is obviously going to be different and the motor is different. That's where you're getting that extra 2,000 pounds. One of the other major differences is the synthetic winch rope that comes with the winches. Now, I've already, this is a used line. I had to take my line off to replace my uh, sheath on the end. But um, since I had it off, I thought I'd make a video because I've seen people have trouble with this. And I'll admit, I had trouble with it in the beginning also. We're trying to use that wire that Warren supplies. It just isn't strong enough. Now, again, on the 10,000 pound, it, I didn't have much trouble with it, but on the 12,000 pound, there's, it's definitely a lot harder to do because the line is a different line. It's thicker and they call it their pro line. So it may be a little bit tougher overall. And this is used. And so it's kind of been broken in already, but when they come, the line comes new out of the box, it's pretty stiff. So if you're a fisherman, you're going to know exactly what I'm talking about here. But if you're not just, uh, I'll show you what I'm talking about here. So this is fishing line and each little strand here is about twice the size of a sewing thread and so each one of these is rated at 150 pounds so i took about 10 feet and i doubled it up and then i looped it through the eye of the line and so i basically got four strands and so that's 600 pounds of, of breaking force right there and so what i did was i've got my winch still installed um, it's it's custom installed and recessed in this Jeep grill here. So it's kind of a real pain in the ass to get off So I'm trying to do this without taking a winch off and it's making it considerably harder, but So what I'm ready to do now is pull this rope back through the drum. And so I've got my line I've got my line pulled through the drum and I'm going to pull it all the way through and It's going to you can't see in there, but it's going to loop around the back. See it right there. And so it's gonna loop around the back and from back there, now I'm going to pull it through the drum and out the front so that I can put the little key in there. Now, the, the way you thread this through there is the rope's gotta go through the smaller opening first. You pull it out through the big opening and then you put So you've gotta put this little wedge piece in there. Now again, you gotta pull the rope through the smaller opening first. It comes out the big opening. You put this wedge in there and then you pull back the rope back through and, and this gets wedged in there. Now, I don't remember if this thing goes like this. Actually, I do remember it goes like this. So I'm um, looking at this side of the drum, it's gonna go in like that. And so that little slot right there, that, so you can put a screwdriver in there and pry it back out when you need to. Okay, so what I've done now is taken a, a rubber mallet. It's just a, a rubber, hammel, rubber handled hammer. You're not gonna be able to pull this string with your hands. It's gonna cut your hands. Um, you could try pliers, but you don't wanna cut the, the fishing line either. So you want to wrap it around a piece of wood. I tried a piece of wood earlier already and it was slipping on the wood. So I went with this rubber handle uh, hammer. I hope it doesn't cut into my handle, but uh, oh well. So what I've got it, I've got it wrapped around and you can see that the, the hammer is on the bottom of the fairly. And so now I'm going to use it as a lever to pull it through. And as I pull through, just keep tight rolling the handle of the hammer to shorten the rope up or the fishing line. And so just pull it through and man, see how easy that works? Yeah, it's almost all the way through already. Okay, it's, let's see. If, uh, you can see it down in there, that white. So it's already came through. And so it's as easy as that. And uh, let me see. Okay, so I've got it. You can't see it, but I've got enough pulled out now that I'll be able to put this little, I'll call it a thimble put this in there and then you'll pull back on it to uh, shove this up in there. And uh, man, it's as easy as that. Okay, so I've got the rope back on and you can see I've got the first wrap on there. And so that red's just a heat shield for the actual rope. Um, and you can actually see I've actually got an extra wrap right there. So I need to straighten that out. But my point is that you can see it's full and I've got like five extra feet of this red heat shield. 
And so only that first wrap needs a, that heat shield on there. And so I've been using it with all this extra on there and it really bulks up in there and, and takes up a lot of room because it's a pretty heavy duty sheath. And so what I've found is that you've really got to pay attention to your, your winch rope. And obviously you're supposed to make sure that the winch line goes on there level, but you know when you're side pulling or something, it'll start to pile up on one side or even in the middle sometimes. And so just having all that extra five feet of, of heat shield on there just takes up more room. And so my plan is to just cut all this extra off because like I said, the drum's already full anyway. So that's just an FYI if you wanna get a little bit more room on your drum.